What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are still doing our charity stream for Care.org. Uh, they are an amazing organization. They help out. Uh, I want to say I don't want to say lower income communities, but they fight global poverty. Um, last year, they worked in over 100 countries, helping more than 50 million people. Care delivers life-saving aid to communities who are vulnerable to the coronavirus uh, due to lack of resources. Uh, it's critical to support these communities to slow down the spread of the coronavirus, and they provide basic sanitation and medical supplies uh, for communities that you know otherwise wouldn't be able to afford it. So, uh, for you guys to donate and help out, it's really, really helpful, and uh, all the money is going to Care.org today for uh, for our stream. Um, and right now. Because we have hit the nine hundred dollar goal, Mike is gonna eat six nugs. Here, I'm gonna put. I'm those gonna, are yours. Well, it doesn't matter. They're all the same, right? Oh. Those are your nugs. No. There's two two things of ten, and Mike's like, those are yours. What do we got? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna put all but six in one of them. Oh, so I can. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay, we got six in this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna sauce them for you. Okay. So we got the last dab here. Uh, the hot ones proprietary hot sauce we don't have it's not like the last stab redux and it's not the last stab triple x it's just the original it's the og it's last still stab. insanely hot oh yeah for sure i just want to clarify that it's not like one of the more modern ones also i think the other ones are only slightly spicier like yeah i don't think it's i think it's more flavor profile difference than heat difference really i feel like once you get this hot it's like for those who don't know this uh hot sauce is oh, over two million scovilles oh wow if you're not familiar with you can look up uh it's really really hot it's like Whew. Thousands of times hotter That's than a jalapeno. Good. There are six nugs in here. We are gonna sauce them and shake them. I have had it before. It's extremely. It's good flavor, but it's extremely hot, like unenjoyably hot. It's. It's got a good. It's got good flavor though. Mike, make sure not to touch your eyes. Oh, I know. You should probably go out gloves for these. Also, thank you for saucing for me. You're like my butler. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna close. I don't think it's enough, but I, I don't either. But I want to sauce them first and see. See how we're looking after. And then we can actually do one of these jobbies. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Don't touch them. Man. I'm trying to delicately like move them so I can get some I can get the, the unsauced areas. Oh man, these are The smell is so brutal. It's really strong. I don't know how you're gonna do six of these. I think this is ambitious, but I was gonna do one. And now I'm like thinking about it. Alright. It's not vigorous enough. Vigorous enough. It's not what? Vigorous enough. You're not shaking them vigorously enough. Oh, these oh, look. Those are coated. Look at these bad boys. Those are gorgeous. All right, so we got six nuggets in here. Six classic chicken McNuggets. You don't happen to have a fork down here, like a plastic fork. That you I used? just used the only one I had was I used yesterday. Because I didn't want to use my hands. You want to go get you one? If you don't mind. Yeah, I can go find one. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to give Michael a fork. I'd rather not use my hands as well. Hunter, get back. All right, we got Mike be a fork. Oh, these look brutal. God, they're so they're so spiced. I'll dab up some more. Oh, my God, he's like he's like dabbing it in the <laughs> in the oh, sauce that came off. Oh, that is brutal. Let me get that close to the camera so you can see the coverage. Oh, oh it's on there. Up. It's because it just kind of mixes in with the with the breading, but... All right. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> he just one-bited it, too. All right, that's one down. <coughs> well, this have great for cleaning contact lenses. <laughs> <coughs> oh, so much. Did you guys see my rug when I pulled the, when the green screen was on? I love oh. that rug. Oh man, this is two. Guys, I'm gonna have a regular nug. Good for you, man. Oh, oh, God. <clears throat> water doesn't even really help. <laughs> the water, it does nothing. All right, so we're going to do this draft here while Mike eats. Is that three down already? Uh huh. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh god. <laughs> this seems so. Oh. Oh, 
my god, there's so much coverage. <laughs> I told you. You were like, no, it's good, it's not enough. Look at that. You're covering some more. Oh. Water doesn't make it less spicy, but it washes out of your mouth a little bit. <sighs> so much coverage. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, don't throw up. Oh, Gamma said, are you in this draft with me? Death <coughs> Oath. Whenever a non-token creature controls dies, put the top two cards of your library into the graveyard. Then return a creature with lesser cover mana cost. Oh. It actually seems good. So if my four drop dies, I can go three drop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's try that. Also, I don't think ominous seas could be good. Oh, Hunter, get out of here! Don't be mad at him because you're hot. Because you got a hot mouth. He's an angel. <coughs> <laughs> you got two left. You got one left. Yeah. How you doing? That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. It does oh my seem. God. I'm gonna take Migratory Greathorn. I think this guy's good. Oh, Jesus. Guys. Six nugs down the hatch. Uh. What's what's better, Momentum Rumbler or Pyroceratops in a Blue Red Spells deck? What's Momentum Rumbler? I know what Pyroceratops is. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Six is a lot, and those were coded, dude. Oh, that's an F for Mike's stomach lining and butthole. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Cavern Whisper is good. I think Cavern Whisper is oh. pretty sweet. <coughs> it's also an expensive creature that we can get back our other guys with. I, I think. Milky. Yeah, I'll take Whisper. We got a couple mutatoes. Rumbler gets first strike, then double strike. Oh, the three three. <sighs> I think Dan. for this, I mean, for the spells deck, I feel like... Dan, you're insane. The 2-3 oh, is better. Oh, my God. <laughs> the 2-3, the Pyrostar Tops better, but I think my Mentor Rumble is just good by itself, too. Well, like, to be clear, they don't taste bad, but God, they're so fucking hot. That's true. Why is Mike crying? Uh, oh, he just ate six nuggets with Last Stab on them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's living his best life, guys. Oh. Oh. This doesn't go away. Oh. Oh. I think we're gonna take this alert uh, heed heed bonder. It's easy. It's easy for us to cast in our deck. I think Elsir's right. I think Dan's is an alien. Yeah, it's not real. Like when I was watching her do it, I was like, I don't think she has a sense of taste. Oh. How's that chocolate milk going down? <laughs> it helps. <laughs> Are you gonna die? Oh. Oh. I've had last stab before, like on one taco or one slice of pizza or one wing, but never. Oh, that was too much. Titan's Nest. Oh. Don't care about you. Oh. Don't care about Checkpoint Officer. I guess Checkpoint Officer is alright because it's cheap. You want a nice mix of cheap creatures and expensive creatures. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna take pretty highly any uh any abzan alcohol trialing. gets rid of capsaicin okay there's two problems with that one they've tested that before and that's not actually true uh two like it doesn't help any more than milk two I don't have any so <laughs> I'm willing to try any spicy food once or spicy. McNuggets six times, so maybe not six in the future. Well, no, this is probably not a this is probably not a regular thing that you're gonna do. I don't Shut think. Up and take my money. I'll take this four drop. <sighs> Mike, get baby wipes for your booty hole. Get unscented and the ones with the aloe vera. <laughs> I've actually never had a problem with that, except for like with vinegar based hot sauce. Guys, he's never had a problem with his booty hole. <laughs> you heard it here first. Oh, I just downed that whole chocolate milk and still bad. Main Serval for two is very, very good in the, in in terms of, like, uh, what do you call it? <sighs> Mutating onto. This guy, eh, he's all right. Looting and polluting uh, is not the way. Oh, Duskbank Mentor came back? That's interesting. Yeah, I'll take another Main Serval. 
Capsaicin is soluble in alcohol, ends up spreading, ends up just spreading this around. Yeah, like I've actually one of those fries. seen two different YouTube people who have tested if alcohol helps, and they didn't think it helped. So I don't know. Give me some of them fries. Hey, take your, take your pick. There's two in there. Yo, Kerwin, thank give you me for the McDonald's, give me them fries. buddy. What'd you say? Give me them fries. Which one? The other one. Oh, on my bad. I just grabbed one. You never like fries, so I just figured. Wow, that is insanely false. Uh. Dish soap helps with Hawaiian? Yeah, no thanks. I'm not putting dish soap in my mouth. <laughs> I'm not putting dish soap, guys. I just want to put six nuggets with one of the hottest hot sauces in my mouth. Dish soap is a bridge too far. Well, it's gross. I'm gonna take this Kogla. Oh, oh, on color, ultimatum! Guys, we li we we did it. We lived the dream. Kogla into Erie ultimatum. Oh, baby, we're doing it. I did not have a dab nug. I feel like I got off easy by not. Also, everyone recommending these things, like, I've literally watched people try that, and it doesn't actually work that well. Yeah, Mike and I have watched, we've done a lot of hot sauce research. Like, everyone thinks oil and peanut butter, like, those are all theories. But in practice, they don't really help any more than milk. I'm going to take all the lands I can find at this point. Glowstone Reckless is very, very good. We just want to be able to cast this ultimatum. And our other spells, for that matter. Oh, Bosh? Interesting. Hmm. The fries are helping a little bit, just because... Hmm. I think it's like getting rid of the... Soaking it up or something, I don't know. Yeah, I think Obosh is just the best card in this pack. It's totally fine. Oh, yeah, Blossoming Sands, for sure. Also, we have a Fertilid, which is nice. So, our mana should be okay. Oh, all right, we're down to a manageable level. Our mouth is still on fire, but it's tolerable now. This mouth is on fire. It only took like 10 minutes. Skull Prophet's good. I like a Skull Prophet. Skull Prophet. Don't mind us eating on stream, guys. If you do, well, that's fine. Mmm. Scour Barons. I was afraid. I think you missed my donation of the Hot Ones gift. What? Oh, 1445. Oh, my bad. I didn't even know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I didn't hear it. I definitely did. I didn't hear it go either. Josh, thank you so much for the, for the 60 Melons, man. Really appreciate it. Man, you guys are freaking great, dude. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget, all donations today are going to care.org. Insatiable Hemophage. Guys, he's, he's, he's recovering. He's recuperating. I'll take a wilt for the sideboard. <clears throat> Whew. Mm, Humble Naturals is probably fine. Are we oh. drafting? Is that a thing we're doing right now? Yeah. Huh. I didn't know. <laughs> I'd like to welcome Michael B. back to the stream. You okay? Shut up and take my money. You One hang in there, Mike Buck. You don't care about sweet and sour, right? No. Okay. That dude is all yours. I'm going to eat four regular nugs. Yeah, that's fine. Knock yourself out. <coughs> Boo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Chris, what up, my dude? I'm glad you can make it, buddy. I'll take a Zagoth crystal. I might even play it. It's two or three colors. Oh, we still got another pack after this? Good grief. Oh, a Slither Wisp? This is against actual people now, right? Yeah, these are... Well, it's not like... Well, yeah, I mean, they're, they're drafting with us. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Pacifism. Let's take Pacifism. We don't have a ton of removal. That seems good. Oh, man. How's the regular nugget taste? 
a lot better. Dude, chicken McNuggets. Fuck. I missed them, man. There's definitely something about them. It is. It's the breading. The breading is so good. And they're super crispy. Right. Which is, again, the breading. I like a Volpa keep. Oh, Grim Dancer. I didn't even see the Grim Dancer. This is my problem with Wendy's and Burger King nuggets. They're not crispy enough. No, they're just kind of soft. Chris, how dare you? How dare you? Oh, boy. I'm really glad you made it, though, buddy. Um, I guess Ram Through. Oh, I don't think it's Evolving Wilds. We have three fixing lands already, and I'm not really a big fan of <coughs> Evolving Wilds. We can probably get another fixing land, too. <clears throat> Next time, uh, we should order one of these spicy nugs and then put Last Dab on it. Wow. To he's, be fair, I he's think he's getting last, bold now, guys. I think last Dab is so hot that it wouldn't even be noticeable. Like it wouldn't actually. No, matter. you would. It would not. I don't think it would add anything. You know what I mean? I don't think it would make it any hotter. It's like putting a match in a house fire. You know, it's already. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I mean, I guess it's it's not helping, but it really ain't hurting that much. Trying to get them nugs, boy. I'm just trying to get them nugs. Oh, I like a helica glider. That's just a two-two flyer. <clears throat> Let's wipe off this fork. <coughs> Man, we could have two ominous seas in our deck. That's wild. Mm. Take a big number. Man, I just wanted one more fixing land. Oh, Call of the Death Dweller could be pretty good. Just to be clear, I'm fine now, but it's still... There's still spiciness in my mouth. There's spiciness in my mouth. Also, so many of these nuggets look like Florida. <laughs> oh, the classic Florida shape. You mean the boot ones? Yeah. A like came back. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like we made it. The boot nuggets are chicken shoes. <laughs> huh. I should have got a drink refill when I went up there. Amateur move. All right, so we have two crystals that are both half of our, like, two-thirds of our colors, so. I could use some more liquid. Yeah. You can bring the, the Diet Cherry Coke down when you come. That's what you want? Mm hmm That's what Father likes. <clears throat> I'm going to get a yogurt, too. Wow. That'll be three yogurts today. What? You have three of them? I had two so far, yeah. Of the ones Kurt bought? Yeah. How many were there? Chris, thank you so much for the donation, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, man, we have uh, exceeded our goal. There's four of the fruit-flavored ones. And then there's, like, a, a pack of the six that are salted caramel. And those are, like, smaller, though. Like, they're more individual. They're smaller. Size. How are you going to eat three yogurts in one day? I see something creamy, man. Good lord, man. What was your excuse for there, too? They're delicious. Oh, my fucking god. Yes. <clears throat> Would you like me to bring me one of the caramel ones? No, I don't want a yogurt. <clears throat> okay. No, I don't want that. I think you might like those, since they're sweet-based. Probably won't be too tasty. It's sweet-based. I don't know what to cut here. Scorpion can go... Hunter's giving you... He's giving you a look over here. What's the Nugs boy? -y? The Nugs boy? Who's the yeah. Nugs boy? You know who that is. I really don't. I'd argue Kuro, it's the Nug boy. 19 <clears> cards. <throat> Gross. I went to the store for milk and aspirin. Got milk and eggs and everything, but gosh darn... Dang it, Sammy. We did make the pie goal. I will be getting slammed in the face, oh, of, the face no. of the pie, dude. Oh, Lord. Why is that Tranquil Cove in here? Six, seven, four, five, six. All right, I'll be back. Four, five, oh. six. This is seven, seven, six. That's actually pretty good.
We can definitely take out one more creature for like one of the for the green uh, <laughs> Zagoth crystal. Because worst case scenario, we just cycle it. We also have Fertilith for lands. Um, white is also our least represented color by a lot. We have double black. <clears throat> so we definitely want four, five, six. We definitely want another black and one less green, one less white. Okay, but then we need to make one more cut. I'm gonna have one more nug. I almost used a, pi a pie gift. Now I'm sad. How unbelievable. Unbelievable. You really dropped the ball there, Chris. I expect better, buddy. Better, buddy. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Hunter got some treats. Me and Mike did Mio shots. Mike ate the five, the sixth last dab nugs. Mike just has to draw something on my face. And also, uh, hit me in the face with a pie. Which should be incredible. Correcting my... <laughs> Chris, thank you so much. It's for a great cause, man. All your donations are going to care.org, who is a great organization that brings uh, resources and uh, supplies to communities that cannot afford them. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll keep this. One green, a six drop that needs three green, a, a card that we can't play. This is almost perfect. Man, 1570, you guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. Looks like we made it. Michael B. has returned. There you go, Chief. Oh, thanks, bro. I got some Cherry Coke Zero that I'm going to refill my bottle with. Um, Let's play this guy. I think Michael's gonna go throw up in the bathroom now. Yep. I mean, you're probably just gonna chump block this guy. I like that it asked me if I want to mutate. I'm like, mm, you know I don't have anything. <clears throat> we really just want to get to... We, like, next turn we can get this guy back. And then eventually we can play Kogla. And hopefully that will be enough. Michael's like coughing up a storm because of the... Because of the nugs. I, I assume it's because of the hotness. That heat. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna block because I don't want to take seven. <clears throat> I used to put sriracha on mini wheats. Legit alien. Actual alien. I guess that was yes. Sriracha on mini wheats? That's so weird. I mean, I like sriracha, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's not... It's not normal. Is this a weird mix of flavors? 
This is a weird mix of flavors. Ugh. Buddy, we're going to be Koglin all night long. If we survive. Are you okay? There's a bottom, man. How much are these? These got to be like $2 each, right? Three bucks? Something like that? Yeah, these definitely don't seem cheap. We can find out. Can we? Huh. Only 260 calories per serving, which is the whole thing. Wow. Surprisingly low. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage? Well, that's pretty good. <clears throat> I think we have to kill the double striker here. Those are good yogurts. Yogurts, I agree. Those are good yogurts. Oh my god. Yeah, I have a good yogurt. Which flavor is it? This one is. I think Essence berry. scatter this, then we're just gonna like literally probably die. Got him. Also, my other problem with the last Eb nugs. Is that they're extremely hot? No. Hmm. Is that they're so coated in sauce, they're actually kind of soggy and weird and gross. Oh, they lost the, 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 the trademark crispiness. crispiness. Yeah. That's the only perk. <clears throat> I think next time we go a little less heavy on the sauce. Did you say blackberry? Sorry, this is raspberry. Typical. Typical millennial bullshit. <laughs> what? You know what you did. What does that have to do with millennials? Exactly. Peanut butter jelly time. This isn't peanut butter jelly. But it is peanut butter jelly time, Michael. Peanut butter, jelly, go make peanut, butter jelly, peanut butter jelly in the baseball. But you know that song? You know that jam? Do I know that song? You, know, you heard that one? I think before? I was born under a rock, man. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh my God, Hunter! <laughs> I haven't even opened it yet, and he's like, "Whoop." Interesting. No attack, huh? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands again. Three, four, five, see how six, can get. seven spells. Right on top, right? Let's mix it up. Why don't you just buy yogurt for yourself if you like them enough to have three yogurts before 5 p.m.? <laughs> Seems like... Seems like you enjoy yogurt, Michael. It's, not, it's just not something I think of, you know. Make some promise. What? Huh? What? What? I just don't think about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, big tip. Good it's mouth. So tangy. <laughs> Good mouth feel. <clears throat> So we can attack with this guy. One, two, three, four, five. And they attack back. We go block here. We take one, two, three. Four, five. Sure. I see Mike is having dessert yogurt. It's true. <laughs> That's weird because now I can just kill him. Right? Mock here, we take one, two, three, we're alive again. Yeah. 
Noosa is yummy, but the sugar content is crazy. Let's find out. Noosa. Noosa gonna like some yogurt. <laughs> that's from, that's from Star Wars. Total sugar, 30 grams. Is that a lot? I just work here. How much sugar is in a soda? My dad. Yep, get rid of that thing. Man, Kogla's no joke. Kogla, no joke, -la. I swear a lot of players have not stip drafts an arena where they just auto pick for you, but yeah, but isn't your deck just gonna be unplayable? Do that? I think he's just joking. Oh. <laughs> per serving, I think there's two servings. No, actually, there's only one serving in this one. One container, serving size, one container. Yeah, but weird if a yogurt was two servings because that, that means they're trying to get you to put it in the fridge when you're done with it. This game has been surprisingly close. Um, you can untap this guy and block. 50 to 60 grams in a soda. So, I mean, it's like half that. You can go block here, block here. You take five. So you have to actually block two things. If the creature has trample, the excess damage is dealt. Why don't you have trample? Why don't you? What? Why don't you? I don't know, man. That's a one-sided fight, right? Yep. A one-sided fight. <clears throat> so if they block the, they have to block the two biggest guys here. So. Don't forget Glimmer Bell on taps. Yeah, that's why I killed it. All right. Hope you don't have something to kill me. Oh, good game, you. I'll give you a good game, brother. I'll give you, give me a good game, brother. Oh yeah. How much does that cost to tap? Two? Unbelievable. It's a high price. What are you willing to sacrifice? Yeah, I think our deck's good. We got a bunch of rares and things. My favorite Noosa is the honey flavor and the lemon. No, it's pronounced Nissa. She's a planeswalker from... See, I was reading uh, a quote about a non-magic card. What kind of card is it? Rummy. <laughs> it's a rummy card. Rummy cards don't exist because those are just regular playing cards. That's still a rummy card, right? <clears throat> Maybe. No, I don't think you would technically call it that. Maybe you Maybe would. Maybe you would. I don't know. What kind of Nusa do you have? This one is a raspberry. Don't ask about another man's Nusa. I don't think I'd like the lemon because I generally don't like lemon flavored things. What Whatever. if they had a banana noosa? Oh god. Ha! Oh god. I don't know if that's a thing, but I would totally get it. Uh, I would love the honey one though, probably. Also, I didn't buy these. Kerwood just sent it to us randomly with the order. Yeah, I asked Kerwood to get a pie for me. To hit me in the face with. Which sounds very funny. Um, This is the one we want. I actually had the strawberry and rhubarb one earlier. That one was real good. That might be my favorite. It's a so human. Oh, biscuits. I guess we'll play this guy. No. These both mutate. Oh, we can't cast this. We can only cast this. Yeah, that's fine. And he's got reach. Maybe they'll forget. Yeah, so anyway, Kerwick. I was like, hey, Kerwick, can you give me a cream pie? I said this in the last video, too. So if you guys haven't seen that one, then you'll the story's new to you. But I was like, hey, Kerwood, can you give me a cream pie to, to hit, to hit, to get hit in the face with? And Mike was, and uh, Kurt was like, yeah, sure, I got you. It'll be delivered between 9 and, nine and 11 tomorrow morning. And I just showed up way earlier than that. How much, what time? Like before 8 a.m. Oh, my God, really? Good gravy. And so he's like, so it gets here, and it's like one banana cream pie, one lemon meringue pie, like a bunch of yogurts, a bunch of chocolate milks. Let's just say it was pretty impressive. 
Josh, have a good meeting. Got to duck out for my department. Josh, thank you so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. Josh, have a good afternoon, and uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully I, I'll see you before you, uh, before we, before we check out. They have banana yogurt with dark chocolate, banana chips, and peanuts in the, as, in the, as mix-ins. Oh, man, that sounds amazing. Maybe you do. <clears throat> banana chocolate's a good combo. Put it over. Let's get another swamp of them. I think Magic Arena has a real issue with giving you a lot of the same lands. We have four forests, and we've literally drawn no other basics. And when we had a, a deck with nine uh, mountains and eight islands, we drew like four to five islands a game and no mountains. No blocks. I'll wonder take. if they'll ever make a cookies and cream yogurt. You mean this company specifically? Because cookies and cream yogurt is definitely a thing. Maybe you are. Mike, do you like banana peanut butter sandwiches? Yes. Peanut butter banana time. Mm. You know that song? Do you know the peanut butter banana time song? No. Typical millennial bullshit. Do you like playing on the arena client or MTGO client better? I think both are fine. I really, I don't really have a preference, I don't think. I know I could, but I don't. You got it. Peanut butter and jelly. Michael B. What are you bouncing here? I'd like to know who you're targeting. Oh, my my mutato. Actually cancel that order. As uh as your boy Marshall Sutcliffe would say. What about a peanut butter Nutella sandwich? What about it? <clears throat> the problem with that is like Peanut butter and Nutella together are like really strong flavors that are kind of the same. And they're both nut based flavors. I'll block your spell eater, Wolverine. Oh no. Trade? Okay. He dead. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. Muggle be in time. So if I just cast this and mutate, it's still seven either way. It's either three main and then oh, it's actually three main three mutate. Yeah, what let's if you do cast that. him as a man. Three, four, five. Cast him as a man. Two, three, four, five. Do they have waffle love love up in Yogan? I don't know what that is. Up in Yogan? <laughs> yeah, Yogenheim. He said Yogan, right? Clip it. Clip the Yogan. Man, I believe you. You believe me that you said it? Mm-hmm. That's wild. Okay, I believe you. That's a lot of lands we got going here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He um, said Yogan. Totally said Yogan. <clears throat> Let's not attack. Don't believe his lies. I didn't lie. I agreed with him. <clears throat> what part of the egg is that? Uh, it's, it's part of the inner membrane of the wall. The Yogan. I actually, I used to run a bakery called Yogan Yogan. So, you know. That's cool. Oh, there's a post to wafflelove.com. 5, 10, 11, 12. I mean, I'll just go to 5 here, I think, because you don't have anything left. That's that's what you want him to think. Hmm. 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 
professional wrestler, Yolk Yogan. I love Yolk Yogan. <clears throat> Roll if you want to. Roll around like a bee. That's a weird way to spell that word. What? Psychology? Yeah. That's a weird... How many nuggets did you eat? I feel like they gave us more than... Yesterday when I got the 10 count, they gave me 11. And I was like, what? I didn't count them, but I had 10 exactly. <clears throat> uh, sure. Seven, huh? Well, I guess you got me. Yep, we're doing good with these lands here. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Ten again, huh? Looks like Ogden is the closest waffle love, but I'm pretty sure you would think it's awesome. I'll be honest. I don't want to travel that far for waffles. I could take or leave waffles. Like, I like waffles. I just don't think it's worth a 30 minute trip for a waffle. Cycling, huh? Okay. Waffles better than pancakes. I might get flack for this, but I disagree. I prefer a crispy, no land. A crispy pancake. A crisp cake, if you will. You ever French toast a waffle? Oh, that sounds amazing. I have not, but that does sound like a good idea. You be a daisy if you do. Cake is better than pancake. No. Yeah, Again, no. I'm going to disagree. Why well, disagree when it feels so good to agree? Because I'm a rebel. You really are, man. I won my first round. Good for you, man. I think they have no... Um, there's no reason not to attack here because like they can just untap it. But they get to see if they get a free point in. Favorite topping if you can only have one on top. I'm just going with the classic maple syrup. Some good maple syrup. Get on top. Have you been to Snooze in Denver? Definitely Snooze? Not. Frank might have, but... No. What is it? What is it? Like what kind of restaurant? Hmm. False. Another pancake. Wow. Don't care about you, I can tap you forever. Mike B, poker just doesn't seem to be your game. I know, let's have a spelling bee. Buddy, if you think poker's not my game, and a spelling bee is, boy. Let's just say you're gonna win a lot more than I am. You'll be a daisy if you do. Do you like omelets, Mike? Yeah, I like an omelet. How about these omelets? Where are they? I got her phone number, how about these omelets? Huh? Is that a reference I'm not understanding? Yeah, it's from fucking Goodwill Hunting. Hey, you like apples? I got a number. How about them apples? Ah, uh, gotcha. Mike B, do you get mad when people play Twin in Commander? Like, Splinter Twin? It's like a 1 out of 100, man. I think combos are fine in Commander. I don't get the hate. As long as you're... See, at least Splinter Twin's interactable. Like, there's, four other... there's three other players that can have removal. And on top of that, like... You have to invest like two turns, you have to have double red, you have to have both cards. I think Splinter Twin is fine. Over! If you're running on turn two, that's a bit of a different story. I feel like I'm decent in this format, man. I don't know. I've been doing well. In before he won twos now. What's the difference between roast beef and pea soup? <laughs> Anyone can roast beef. Oh, I get it. Wow. Wow. Good lord, man. Applesauce on pancakes? That's interesting. Mike, how do you like your eggs? Fried or fertilized? I'm going to go with fried. Oh, to be honest, I really only like eggs scrambled. 
or soft scrambled. That's kind of funny because Katie only likes eggs over easy. So like, you guys literally only like eggs the opposite ways. I don't like uncooked yolk. Or not uncooked, but you know what I mean, like runny yolk. I just, ugh. Same. I, like that. I used to like it, but then it weirded me out. I don't Here, like the texture. Toss these in the trash the in the trash bag. Oh. You fucked up, didn't you? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's just paper. It's not a big deal. But... It's not a big deal. Applesauce on pancakes is super German and really delicious. Never tried it. Yeah, that makes sense. Germans put applesauce on everything. I'm gonna keep this because of the the Zagoth crystal. Mike. Mike like eggs, eggs fertilized, hatched, raised, and nuggeted. Wow. Nuggeted. <laughs> I like my eggs like I like my women. Nuggeted. I eat eggs every morning. That's a commitment. Hey, Mike, do people get salty when you use Joda's ability to put out something insane? Because I've been told I am not playing a casual deck when I pay five mana for omniscience. I mean, sure, paying for five mana for omniscience is a good deal. Oh, thank goodness. But at the end of the day, you have to cast Yoda. You have to untap with him. You have to have five colors of mana. And he can't be removed. Tell me more about the Joda. Also, you have to have drawn the omniscience. If your table's too casual for, like, a Fist of Suns effect... I don't know, man. I'd find a different group because that seems like too... He's got three toughness, too man. Group. Yeah, exactly. You can be lightning bolted. Like, not that most people play lightning bolt, but it's an example. I play lightning bolt. Like, if you're just playing at tables where they like like the games to last like two to three hours, like, I'm sorry, but I don't enjoy that. That's way too long for a game of Magic. Like, that's not a good time to me. I also hate any pod over four people because it's way too many, and your decisions are literally useless. One more time. I prefer to be play against people that not trying to win on turn two but I like people to play a what's the word I'm looking for like an optimized deck where people are actually trying to win not like just these weird like dirtle decks. dirtle city like I'll be honest when someone sits down with a group hug deck I'm just like here we go again <sighs> cool the game's gonna last like an extra hour Or the other thing that happens when someone plays group hugs is it gives one player way too much of an advantage because of the way their deck's built, and then it's over really quick. I dirtle, but I play to win. Well, that's different. I'm not like dirtling just happens in commander no matter what because board stalls happen. But I mean, like, I just don't like it when you're literally trying to make the game dirtle out. Oh, that guy just traded. That's wild. I hope we can get a game of Commander in before you guys move again. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to play some IRL Commander at some point. Mike, you ever play group hug poker? <laughs> 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 My opponent See, sure that's do. funny. Like the politics deck type? No, but those can still be trying to win. Playing politics is kind of just a part of every Commander game, unless you're playing Cutthroat, but... So we lost Fertilite, Ram through Glowstone, Recluse, but we got a land. And we ate these two. I think that's actually fine. Yep, that's pretty good. I One of Mia's decks just intentionally dirtles until she hit Divine Intervention. What's Divine Intervention? What's Divine Intervention? I'm not familiar with that card off the top of my head. I don't know what that is. My name is Michael. I live in the garbage can. Or is that the one where you get like I live in Yogan horses Lu equal Lu to your life total? Yogan Luta. It draws the game if it lives. Can someone link that card? I'm curious what it does. Everybody give it a link. I guess we're just gonna play this guy for five. Oh, 
Ooh, Divine oh, intervention, six that. white white enchantments. Divine intervention into the battlefield with two invention counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove an invention counter from divine intervention. When you move the last intervention counter from divine intervention, the game is a draw. Wow. Your literal intention is to make the game a draw? Whoa. What a weird magic card. Also, yes, that sounds miserable. 3-5 flyer, you don't have vigilance. Okay. I was thinking of sending Frank a Mardu Poldex commander deck with Queen Marchesa to play. Marchesa. That was like the one deck you ever built. That's true, actually, yeah. She's a cool commander. It's also 3 CMC, so she's good. This guy's got Manasio. And he deals 8? Good gravy. Obosh is crazy, dude. Obosh bagosh. <laughs> Osh gosh, oh bagosh. I was thinking Divine Visitation. Sure. I don't know why I did that thing to my board. Why did you do it? One. Jeez. David, let's not do that instead. How about that? Awkward run hand over face of one of you. Also, I'm pretty sure you've already done that on stream before. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why. <laughs> So these, clip of it so like this is a, a, your odd converted mana cost permanence. This is cost five. This cost five. This cost three. Okay, so <gasps> oh, so you just die instead. All right, that seems good. I personally probably would have blocked, but I guess dying is also an option. Yeah, but know. what do you know? It's true. What do I know? Man, we have yet to draw eerie ultimatum. Man, we're doing well. Man, that's really eerie. Ultimatum. <laughs> my, 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 my ultimatum. Bing, ding, ding, ding. What am I drawing on your face, man? I'll get you a Sharpie. Bring one. Here you go. I think if we get a white, this is fine. We're on the draw. Let's get a... a black is... Yeah, all right. yeah, it's still another color, I guess. My, oh, this is what I wanted turn one. I'll take it turn two, I guess. Still lets us play. Hell, that, hell, helica, that's a helica glider. I don't ever see you giving first strike to this guy, but maybe if you're like mutating onto it with a flyer. I vote for Van Gogh's scream. Hmm. Well, Van Gogh didn't do the scream. Edward Monk did the scream. Oh, arted. <laughs> arted. <laughs> Got him. You just got arted. That's what makes it so challenging. <laughs> okay, see, that's a solid comeback. See, that's hilarious. Alteration? Yeah, we're uh, at 1,200 mic draws on my face, so... Oh, that guy's humongoid. I do not like. Just 
when this creature mutates to shrine art. Yeah, that's fine. It's good, but like, I can also just kill it, I guess. Mike, what are you going to do, Picasso? Hey man, I'll just draw a Picasso on him. Draw one Picasso. And then it's like an actual drawing of Pablo Picasso and not an actual Picasso painting. You just got arted. All right, man, let me know when you're ready. Hey man, you could just do whatever you gotta do. Oh, I don't wanna just randomly just be like, oh. Why not? I'm ready to go. Put it on your cheek. I'll try to stand, I'll try to be still. This is, this is actually kind of difficult to draw on faces. It does not seem super easy. Yeah, that's the best I could do. <laughs> you might have to zoom in on that one. It's supposed to be, oh it's hard God. to tell, but it's supposed to be Patrick from SpongeBob doing the weird, like, <laughs> mad face meme. Wow. Oh, Jesus. You can keep going if you want. I got a whole face for you, Michael. I think that's good. I don't want to go nuts. What? That's the whole point. Are you sure? People donated twelve hundred dollars, Michael. Well, yeah, but now I gotta go. Post Malone, me, bro. I gotta go on the other side now. Let me find something else. I'm going this side. I got a forehead. I got cheeks. <laughs> what is this? Two. So we have one, two, three, four, five. What is this? What? Did you just play two of these? Good, go, good gravy, man. It does look like a caveman drawing of an archer. <laughs> Not to be confused with the show Archer. Hey, you guys try drawing on someone's face with a sharpie, okay? God. Guys, don't try doing that. God. This cart bunyard lurker is real good. What? What? Why would you suggest that? I cannot believe you've done this. I don't tell you what it is yet, but. I don't know well, why don't. I suggest that. You guys don't like my tattoos? Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Whew. Alright. Gotta go to the other side. Oh wow. These things are happening right now. This one's gonna be a little simpler. Maybe it'll come out better. Gotta find the simplest version. Hum, but on a pretty one. A pretty one. Another one. 
an assault trooper for you. <laughs> God, I, this is literally what Post Malone feels like, I think. They're drawing really good. Now it gets flying in another counter and it gets a return of the permanent. Jesus. I need to get rid of this stat. I got one Are you sure more it's not a money shaker? <laughs> got one more for you. Hold on, let me uh. Okay. I'm just gonna fix this. Yeah, make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Should I have to touch your face? I don't. It's fine. You're like a tattoo artist. It's like, sorry for touching you. And it's right, like, you go. buddy, you got. <laughs> you can't see oh, it Jesus. Capital. They can good. fucking see. If you can't see. All right. Jesus. Hey, man, you got some. You going to do any neck tats? You want more? I'm just saying, man, for $1,200, dude. The I'm people. Not, I covered your real estate, you know? Yes, this is Patrick. Yum, but on a pretty one. A pretty one. Six, and you have what? A greater sandworm? Draw a mushroom tattoo on a forehead. Oh, see, I get what you're trying to see. I see what you're trying to see. Sign your name on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm getting seven here. That's how, that's how it feels. Get his nose. Get his nose. Hmm. I can do a nose one. I'll just do an easy one. There you go. That one might be hard to see. <laughs> Guys. My nose is angry today. Jesus Christ. This is my life now. Um. Yeah, I'll turn. Yeah, there you go. What do we need? Another, straight face. We need three lands. We need black, white, black. Or black, white, white, I guess. Do a puppy dog nose on his nose. Oh my god. Make some really fat eyebrows. <laughs> puppy dog nose is just a nose. It's just black, right? Sure. You guys aren't going to ask what Katie wants you to draw? What does Katie want us to draw? Oh, she didn't say anything yet. This thing's friggin' huge and I just want a way to kill it. Oh, that's a good idea. What's a good idea? <laughs> oh god, what did you do? Now you're mad. Jesus Christ. She's the decider. It's true. <clears throat> oh my god, really? Five forests. Literally no planes. And I'm pretty sure the only swamp we got from like something else. Jesus. That's annoying. And like we can't even attack because they have lurking Deadeye again. I guess this guy does have menace. So if I wanted to... I could tap this dude down and then attack. I'm sweating a little bit still. You're sweating from the from the wings? I think so, yeah. I don't know why else I'd be sweating. Maybe it's because I'm out of shape. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm fat. Thank Frank and Emo again by doing Skyliner. I don't want to get too close to his eyes. Wow, yeah, you want to, like, fucking Sharpie right underneath my eye? Jesus. That'd be hard to get off. Yeah, I'd have to scrub my... F it's Sharpie, not makeup, dude. If we had some actual Come on, eyeliner... Kyle. If we had some eyeliner, I would do that. You don't happen to have eyeliner from your old emo days, do you? I don't. I don't. Dang. That was worth a shot. Was it? Sure. Oh, 
I'm banana on a Michael B. Teardrop Michael tattoo. B. <laughs> Feel free to come at me, bro. Give Frank that just for men's look and color that beard in. That would take a while. Wow, also, that's, the other problem is... messed up. Oh, wow, another one. All right. I think you wouldn't be able to get that out of your beard. <laughs> wait. Black, black, black. Wait, we need one more white now because of this guy. Okay. That's pretty good. All right, we're real close. I might want to start putting cards in the graveyard, but I know I'm going to hit a planes if I do that. I also don't know if it's going to get us back in the game because our graveyard ain't that good in terms of Give permanence. Give him one of those pointy S's that everyone draws in middle school. Wow. Draw him as a man. Why do I have my Sharona stuck? It's like because of the because of the because of the fucking companions. Because of Karuga. My 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 Karuga. Mike Ruba? Mike Ruba? Hey, oh, Mike Ruba. It's Mill. It's gonna be two planes. Ready? That was a white Just source. Just shave his head to make more room for Sharpie. Invite him to join the Pen 15 Club. Okay, guys. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. All right, well, give your little veggies and counter he knows. Pass to attackers. Come on, on a pay one. Resolve it. Write 58008 backwards. A classic. Look how mad my, look how mad I am. a lot of life. Oh, pacifism is real good. So white, white, black, black, black. Can't you also attack with everything for free because you're getting them back? Yeah. That might not be worth it, though. Oh, this guy's definitely getting in there. Oh, no, wait. They have the tapper guy. Oh, wow. Can't actually use a black for this. That's unfortunate. I guess I could wait till next turn to do the, the ultimatum. My, my, my ultimatum. You tapped your third black source though? I did, so I guess I'm using this anyway. And then we'll just play Blossom and Sands. Yeah, we're at 28. That's okay. How many cards do they have left? 15 to our 12. So they're going to tap my tapper. Sure.
swamp me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I really want a Kogla here. Post Lepore looking damn good. <laughs> Kogla. Yes! And Obosh. Oh, man. Oh, man. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, Attach pacifism. Uh, flying, menace, actually, yeah, menace and death touch. You don't need life one? Uh, death touch again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's already pacified, right? Yeah, but I kind of want to get off the board, so I'm going to do that. I should have thought about that a little bit more. Oh, dang it. Resolve that. Wait, what? Wait, what? I wanted to return a human. Why didn't it let me activate this? Wait, why couldn't I activate this? I literally was clicking on it to activate that. Oh, that's unfortunate because I think that might cost you the game. Well, it's still pacified. Yeah, but I think that's your route to victory when there are 48... Well, it's not going to gain any more life. You clicked next, didn't you? Maybe. I clicked, like, the, the top one was asking me to let it resolve, so I did. I don't know, man. That's... That's pretty frustrating. We have eight. They have 14. Sure. Yeah, getting rid of that would have been really good. I guess we couldn't have because of this. It would just be... It's <sighs> frustrating. Next turn, you still just, like, tap an alpha? Yeah. Problem is, they're going to get to tap your best guy. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. This guy makes... Look, like, like... Three drop. Three drop. Three drop. Five drop. Three drop. Like, I have so many odd costs. Wait... Okay, sure, they got a thing back. Man, they're still putting guys on this guy? You oh, they get the... the fight. That's because I was clicking it. I don't think... I don't know if that's... That does, just feels weird. It doesn't feel correct. Just alpha next turn. <clears throat> sure. I mean, your your ultimate was still pretty insane on this board, so. You don't have lifelink. No one else has lifelink. So. Let's go to combat. Ooh. Uh, you're a three drop? Actually, I get in there with you too. I don't even care. Yeah, I'll just show with everybody for the tapper.
let him figure it out. All right, now you're gonna tap anyway. No, because if we don't win this turn, like we have to stop the twelve twelve, like idiot. So they're probably gonna block, and yeah, sure. Like we knew you had that. I get three blocks here. Like, this is a lot of. Oh my god. Fuck, that's insane, dude. 12, 13. They tap my guy next turn. We take 12, 13, 14, 16, 18. So you do have two blockers. Yeah. And this guy's got flying, so whatever. I feel like we still are in pretty good shape here. This guy's got Vigilance too? Jesus Christ. So they just gained 24. I don't think there's anything we can draw that beats that fucking monstrosity. Yep, I'm gonna just go to the next game. They get an extra 12. Like, there's nothing we can do about that. Nope. Don't like it. No. Don't like that. This guy seems better than mained serval. Got yeah. any more odd cost guys? <laughs> you got any more of them odd cost guys? Mutate is a heck of a mechanic. I mean, yeah, it's kind of all in, but like in draft where there's not a lot of removal, it's pretty good. Keep. Snap, keep. It's because you got all them fancy colors. Oh, that was a good oh, that was draw. That was a real good draw. I think it's weird how they make animations for, like, super random cards. I agree. Like, it's, yeah, it's really weird. Like, Usually why is there an animation for that one mana dork, but not others? I thought there was, like, a mythic thing, but then they're like, no, we'll just put on every, everybody. And it's on rares, it's on comics, it's on basically whatever they want. They can do whatever they like. Play something I don't care about. I don't just like them, it's just kind of weird. It seems random. It just, it does seem random, right. just cast it as a man <laughs> oh grim dancer hold me closer grim dancer you just gonna attacking a 3-1 into a 1-4 stop how do I stop during my combat let's go to full control Target a creature you control. Okay. Target a creature you control. What? Target? Why is it asking me to target another creature I control? What? Those damage you go to target a creature you don't control. I cast this. Target a creature you control. Target a creature you control. Target a creature you control. Target a creature. What the fuck? Is there some ability on it we're missing? Oh, what? Submit. Oh, okay, that's weird. That was weird. I 
In case you don't want to hit submit and actually just like you fight to your own creatures or something. No, weird. you can't. They don't word it like that. It's always a creature you don't control, you know? Let's go Death Touch and Menace. I'm not concerned with Life Link here. But if you want to double block, I want to make sure they both die. Bober the Scrober! Thank you so much for the reset. This is so. This is a little late. Um. So even if they block here, they take six, and this guy mutates. Oh, and actually, this guy gets friggin' huge. Doesn't have trample, though. Over. So they're gonna go to one here? I guess they could sack their guy. This guy doesn't have menace. Flying, death touch, and reach. Sounds good. You get, your, you get your three drop back. You do not get your three drop back. I feel like we won this game. I don't know. Kappa. Despite how mad I am right now. How's your stomach? Fine. All right. That's good. That's good. Maybe you don't have too many problems with that. I guess we'll see, though. Okay, so I assume they have the six mana dirtle gentleman. So they go negative two here, remove all the counters. I also could not have that. I think you attack either way, right? Mm, I mean, okay, so they if they play it, this guy becomes a 3-3 three, three death touch. Mm -hmm. So they block here. Yeah, I think we're still good if they do that. I think you got to go for it. I mean, I think we know they have it, yep. Yeah, so now they block here and they still take four. Yeah, so it was still game. Yeah. Fleech? Is that that dude's nickname? 2-0 again? My goodness. Clearly, your name is Kappa. Why, because I got my name tattooed on my forehead? <laughs> oh, thanks for the Blight Beetle. Gee, what a surprise. I mean, a prize. It is neither a surprise nor a prize, Michael. You're no prize. Damn. Got him. Did you see him get got? Do you think you got enough real estate covered now? Oh, my next film only. I guess that's not my face though, right? It's up to you, man. I can give you a net tat. Neck tat. A net tat? Got a lot of three drops here. One green source and I'm feeling good. Oh wow, look, they got a fucking... They, look, they got a... Look, I got a thing! Seems pretty easy to build around and draft. I agree. He needs a gut shot? What does that even look like? How do you do that? You know anything about this one, man? What? Down here, salt is a way of life. Oh wow, you added to the board, nice. Yeah, didn't you hear it before? Oh, I thought you just had it. I didn't know you added to the board. You could have just had it up. I didn't have it up. I Why added it to the that? board. I'm playing this guy first because we can mutate onto him. With the migratory great horn, we can't mutate onto this guy, unfortunately. Hey, man. Hmm. You like my little boot nipper? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. That's why I had to cycle that. Dude, this thing's only been cycled. It's literally just too... Because I'm like, if I already... If I don't have... If I have the mana to cast it, then I don't need it. You know what I mean? Don't know, but you know he loves Gutsha. I think it's weird that people have this perception that you dislike Gutsha. I love it. I fucking love it. Fucking love it. Over. Let's get... I think we're getting a second green. Get in there. Bop him. Giving in a mama in a something pot. And the very best thing of all. There's a counter on this ball. Maybe you can be you know that Bobbit song? Did you close that because Thank you! Rye Perk, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. It really seems weird to leave it open. It seems weird to leave it open. I 
Maybe you can skip a whole lot more. Skip it. Skip it. Little Michael B and a bump the bump. Oh wow, they didn't even need that land. That's wild. That's wild. What do you give? Lifelink? Oh yeah, let's do lifelink for sure. I'm trying to understand why humans can't mutate. Well, it's kind of a flavor thing. Like, humans don't mutate. You know? Maybe you don't. Creatures, you know, they can. I'm gonna give this dude lifelink too, because now the counters are just better. Oh man, this puts one-one <laughs> counter each week for lifelink. I see we have a new viewer. Good lord, what happened to you? <laughs> Oh boy, it's all for charity, guys. It's all for charity. Don't forget, you can still donate to uh, the link that's provided at the the, care, the charity command. Uh, and we're donating to care.org. It's a great organization that provides medical supplies and all kinds of supplies, actually, for uh, communities that can't, can't otherwise afford them. Look at this. Look at all these cards they're drawn. You think that'll help keep them alive? Me neither. I think I got one more for you. How can someone so angry be so charitable? <laughs> oh, good gravy. I think you got some good real estate left. Wow, now you oh, now you've changed your tune, I guess. I don't want to have to get up and go to the other side though. One, two, three, four, five, six. So all that's left is the pie. Yeah, the pie was gonna is is all that's left. God, it's gonna be a fucking mess, dude. It's not gonna be not a mess. I'm probably gonna go get a towel and put it behind me so I don't get it all over my chair. Boy, we're gonna need a tarp. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it's a meringue, so it might kind of stick and maybe it won't fall over the place. Huh? Oh, thank goodness. Eh, it's alright, it's just gonna stick to your fucking face. Oh, God. Mike, you have to hold the Sharpie still and have Frank move his face to draw his own picture. Hmm. Oh, wow. That dude has been captured. By a sphere. I run that card is so sad. It's not... I know, it is. It's real sad, actually. They were friends! Why be so mature? You got to draw on his face and there's... You got to draw on his face and there's not a single penis. Grow down, Mike. Grow down? What does that mean? Yeah, you know, grow down. Maybe you can beat your very best score. Why does that have a one have an animation? I don't understand. To be uh, to be frank. The salt shaker kind of looks like a penis. Wow. What are you going to do? Grow down. The opposite of grow up. Oh, okay. Yeah, you mature fuck. <laughs> Me? Mature? Fat chance. Oh, I've got an idea. Oh god, here we go. He's like, I was just looking at your face. <laughs> and I think we can do something with it. Oh! There you go. Sick lightning bolt for you, bro. Wow, that's... Oh, Jesus. Wow, they got a 2-4 out of that Just deal? careful not to hit your sideburn. That was really nice of you. Jesus, I feel, I feel more and more like Post Malone by the minute, man. <laughs> Salt Shaker is a penis with a Superman cape. <laughs> It's complicated, man. It's not. I was going to give you a little XOXO somewhere, but I think I'd have to go to the other side for that. That is a cool story. <laughs> you know, a little hug and a oh, little kiss. That's interesting. So I can cast this. What do we get back? These two idiots? It's not very exciting. It's like the opposite of exciting. It is like the opposite of exciting. So I think we're going to start milling. Uh, no It's attacks. not Malone until you have barbed wire. I think I had his forehead covered, though. 
Oh, with the eyebrows and the kappa? Yeah. God, that lightning bolt, man. That's pretty legit. Yeah, you might want to leave that, man. I'm probably just going to get it actually tattooed. <laughs> You know, it's an interesting space, you know? Most people wouldn't think of that little space there, you know? Well. I have Mitch. I'm... <coughs> Alright, let's... Oh, cool. Just, just super cool. But it was not cool. It's true. I passed out in a hotel lobby with a cooler full of beer, and I was, I was hugging. I woke up, nothing drawn on my face, and the cooler beer intact. I feel like you got lucky there. God damn. Man, it's so crazy that human beings were decent. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> Probably just because there weren't any white people around. <laughs> you know? Oh, cool. There's, bro there's the Brokos. White people love that shit. There's the Brokos. I was a waiting. Bit, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, I was waiting for your... It was a simpler time. There you go. Just attack for 12. Cindy Crawford Beauty Mark? I'm not sure what that offhand. What? What did this guy do? Good news all. My sister who works at a nursing home has had a fever for the last four days and tested negative to the flu. I just tested negative for COVID. Well, that's good. That is good. Just wanted to share. My dad lives with her and is 84. Well, it was a convention of RPGers, plenty of white people. I guess you got lucky then. How's the ankle, Moochel? Uh, definitely keeps getting a little better each day. Or I'm getting used to it. I don't know. It's getting better every day. My I can actually angle. do this with my foot now, like this, and doesn't actually. God, he's hurt such that a bad. fucking bragger, dude. <laughs> Look, I can do this with my foot, but I still have that weird, like, tight falling feeling. Falling thing. Fing fong, bing tong, ding. Oh yeah, don't forget to. Don't forget to keep putting all your eggs in one basket, because this format's removal is horrendous. Yep. Basically, it doesn't exist. Make sure you hit three permanents. Was that four? How many? How many freaking how many cards is this? Oh, you got a little shit nipper, huh? Okay. A shit nipper. Schnipper, if you will. Guess I'll take 14. Doop ba da ba doop ba da ba dee ba da ba doop ba da doop. Six seven. I walked for almost two miles a day. Took two hours, but I did it. It was a nice day. I was sick of being in quarantine. Yeah, I don't blame you. It was a nice day. Unfortunately, I can't actually walk right now. I mean, I can, but I can't go for an actual walk. Am I missing something here? They gotta have something, right? Yeah, of course they fucking Thank do. Thank you. Cool. Oh, Valley Man with the 25 months. Perfect day for Subversary 2. Lo much love, Frank and Mike B. Philly, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. Yep, we're just dead because our opponent never doesn't have the last exact card that he needs. Put a 1-1 one -one counter and a life counter on a creature. <sighs> I guess we'll just this guy again. I think I think this guy's just better than the main serval. 
<laughs> Love the artistry too, Mike. A1. Wow. Have an A1 day. Yeah, we needed the Dork Kessels made, and we only had uh, six lands. We had eight lands, and then we used two of them to put the counter on. And of course, they had the lose all abilities. Ikoria has a lot of really good removal. Does it? Really? That has not been my experience. Literally, the only thing that can well, kill how, like a 6-6 six, six or a 7-7 seven, seven is how like... How many of them aren't rares? I mean, like, every every color has like one thing that can deal with stuff, right? But like, if, if I put a Capture Sphere on their 6-6, six, six, like, or a Pacifism even, they can still mutate onto it and get every single ability. Like... I feel like the only thing is, like, Blood Curdle. Like, that's the only card that, like, gets rid of the card off the board. I mean, it has things that stop creatures on the board, but don't get rid of them. Which means, like, if you've mutated four times onto your 7-7, seven, seven, you can still mutate onto it again and get six more triggers. Like, it's so it's kind of... And eventually hit something to get the passive of them off. All you get value out of it. As soon as this all mutate, I knew the removal was going to second set. Yeah, it makes sense because too much removal and mutate gets worse, but there's got to be a balance, I think. Come on, me, bro. Trade, bro. I'll trade. I dare you. Bro, I got an eerie ultimatum. Like, even blue, though. Like, you either bounce the guy and they get all their creatures back. Or you capture Spirit and it stays on the board with all of its triggers and abilities. Like, same thing with white. You have Pacifism, or you have like the Exile card, I guess. But like red, as soon as it's a 6-6 six, six or a 7-7, seven, seven, red has nothing. So it's like Blood Curdle. Like, as far as common removal, it's like Blood Curdle and the Exile a creature. I don't have a fucking human out. Oh my god. That was terrible. Yep, that was a big, uh... Jazz one, what are they? Yep. Yeah, the boulder one where you like deal damage equal to the lands, but like, again, if it's a six six and you have five mana, like, I, I don't know, like it's it's fine, but it's I don't think it's that great. I don't know. Fire Prophecy. Fire Prophecy deals three damage. Like, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if they have a 6-6 six, six or a 7-7 seven, seven mutate creature that's been mutating all game and getting crazy, like, four triggers per, per mutate. Like, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, like... Like, they had a 12-12, and I had a pacifism on it, and it didn't do anything. Because they can still mutate onto it and get its triggers, one of which was getting back a gem razor to kill the pacifism. So it's like, alright. You have two mana up. Sure. It's got, it's got menace? Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm not going to trade for any of these guys. I'll just take three. I would love to hit a land here so I can mutate, mutato, and still activate. Mm. 
Making your way in the world today takes every Michael B. Wouldn't you like to Michael B? Let's make sure, yeah. Let's put it over. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has a block with like everything. We can go one, two, three, four, five. We can like kill three of their things. Oh, it has death touch. I see. Mistakes are made. Yeah, that's hard to fucking see. Why? Well, it just has one. It's just got a. Oh, I guess this fiery skull is death touch. All right. Well. Still hard to like. It's still just hard to get used to sometimes. I mean, that's fine. We're almost at ultimatum territory, so. Wouldn't you like to Michael B? Wouldn't you like to Michael B? Yeah, man. Hmm. Fascinating. Are you talking to your mom? No. Sammy. Oh, Sammy. Man, Sammy's the greatest, dude. No, I'm his go to commander list poster guy. Oh, uh, relaxing Sam. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Are there other Sams? I don't know. What do I know about Sammy? Guys, maybe we can hit the. Can we hit this 1800 for charity? That would be amazing. I think you guys forgot that we were donating for charity today. The charity in question is care.org. It's great. Also, they get another bonus, viewer's choice. I don't, that that's, I, I didn't fill it in because my goal was 1,500. Oh, okay. So, like, I wouldn't you like to Michael B. What are you going to do? Yeah, Smokey Loki, I mean, it makes sense while there's less removal in the format, but it still kind of curates a feel bads I just I just hate one-sided games Yep, now I'll turn my 1-1 one, one into a 6-6 six, six and get a free trigger. Let's see what you hit. Cool. Free 3-4. Three, like... Yep. I mean, there's just no way to beat that. Like, there's so few cards in green and, and white and, and black even that, like, that, that stop that. Even if you kill it, like, they get a great value out of it. Yeah, I guess I'll take take eight. Yeah, I've heard the cycling deck is pretty busted. Seems like a very bomb format as well, yeah. I agree. <coughs> I don't know, I don't think the format's terrible yet, but like, it's definitely lacking in some areas. Like, when I feel like they have this on the board, I'm just like, I can't beat it. I have ult I have Eerie Ultimatum that I can cast next turn, and I'm like, eh, can't, can't really beat a 6-6, six, six, sorry. Like, you have four cards and a Lutri in hand. Like, I'm pretty sure you're just going to... In, in hand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're just going to have something to blow us out here. Oh, they're going to copy the removal spell. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. Like, Seems good. both my guys are dead now. Because of your rare. 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's not... Yeah, it's like not even... It's so overwhelmingly lethal. Oh, well. 2-1.
Even if it didn't have that, you wouldn't be in great shape. Maybe you wouldn't. Did you ever think about that? Dang. Got him. Sometimes you want to Oh, a triome. A Savai triome. We're going to open these packs. Savai. Oh, a little classification again. I'm sure that card will see plenty of play. An Obosh. Obosh. Mythos. And finally, it's going to be a Mythic. You guys ready? It's going to be a Planeswalker. It was a Bounders Enclave. I was not close. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankfort, patreon.com slash frankfort, manatraders.com, and Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. Had a new article go up yesterday. You should check that out. Uh, although, when you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably going to be way, way different in time. Um, also, if you guys are watching, definitely check out care.org. They're a great organization. Uh, it's a great way to support the charity and support the channel. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for the support, guys. I'll see you later.